everyone. So for today, we'll be working on a solution for problem set 3, which is plurality. So in this problem set, each voter will get to vote for one candidate. At the end of the election, whichever candidate has the greatest number of votes is declared the winner. The system should then print the name of the winner. If there is more than one candidate that has the highest vote count, the system will print all these names. So for example, we will first list down the names of the candidates. So in this example, we have Alice and Bob. Then we will input how many voters there will be, and hence the number of votes that we will be receiving. So in this case, 3. Each voter needs to cast their vote. So in this case, let's say the 3 votes received are for Alice, Bob, and Alice. Since Alice has the higher vote count of 2, the system will then print her name as the winner. So in the next example, let's say we list down the candidate's name as Alice, Bob, and Charlie. The number of voters being 5. So if the votes received are for Alice, Charlie, Bob, Bob again, and Alice, we can see that the highest vote count that anyone received is 2. And since Alice and Bob both each got 2 votes, the system will then print Alice and Bob as the winner. So what are the parameters and considerations that we have? So firstly, the program will need to ask for the number of votes that will be casted. The system will then need to print the winner if there is only one winner. And if there are multiple winners, the system will need to print multiple names. So before we move on to the next segment, I just want to take this opportunity to do a really quick shout out to those that have been viewing the videos and for leaving a comment, like, and email, and for even subscribing. Uh, it means a lot to me and I do read through all your very nice comments and email. So if you have not yet subscribed, please hit the subscribe button as that would be most helpful and you will also be notified when new videos are released. Thank you! Okay, so moving on, what will be the structure of the code? So firstly, actually we are already given the problems distribution code. So let's load it and look through it to determine what we already have and what we need to work on. So you can see that we are actually given most of the structure of the code already. So let's run through this so we know what we already have and what we need to work on. So here the code will actually define the maximum number of candidates. And also we'll be stating that each candidate will have a string input for its name. And the number of votes should be an integer. Now moving on to this section that describes the functions. Firstly, the argument count needs to be more than 1. This is because when you run dot slash plurality, you also need to key in the candidate's names. So if the user only keys in dot slash plurality without any names following it, the system will reject this as no candidate's names were received. Next, remember that the maximum number of candidates that we have is 9. So this is represented by max. So after the user keys in all the names of the candidates, the system will count the number of candidates key in, and if it is more than 9, the system will reject the input. And if the number of candidates key in is 9 or fewer, we will accept the input and also put it into an array. Then we will also set that their vote count starts from 0. Next, we will prompt the user for the number of voters. Based on the number of voters that we have, we will prompt each of them for their vote, and at the end, we will print the winner. So what requires our input? So scrolling down, you can see that there are two functions that we need to write, which is updating the vote totals whenever a vote is made, and printing to the winners of the election. So let's work on the first one, where we actually need to update the vote totals. So for every vote key in, we must compare it with the names of the candidates key in. If it matches, that means that it's a valid vote, where the vote key in actually is that of a candidate that's running this election. So that means that the candidate's total vote count will increase by 1. So how do we do this? So you can see that we actually need to compare the input that was key in to the name of the candidate. And if it's a match, then the number of votes that this candidate receives will increase by 1. So for this, we can actually use string compare, which is strcmp. And this will actually compare two strings, character by character, which is what we need to do here. Right? So we will compare the input with the candidate's names, and if there's a match, that candidate's total vote received will increase by 1. So this should be pretty manageable for us to work on. So let's put this in C and start to write this function. So for this step, we'll be working to update the vote totals uh, every time a new vote is given. So let's work on what we said just now. So we'll look through all the votes received. Okay, so now this is where we'll use the string compare um, that we were discussing earlier on. So that is actually represented by strcmp. 
So what we'll be doing is that we'll compare the candidate's name against the name that the voter had keyed in, right? And so what happens is that if it matches, what we're going to do is that we're going to update that particular candidate's votes by one. So it's represented by plus plus, right? So this is actually all you need to do to update the vote totals every time a new vote is casted. Next, we will print the number of winners of the election. So let's discuss how to do this. After we update the vote totals for each candidate, what happens next? Let's refer to the example again. So in this case, for the five voters, you have Alice with two votes, Bob with two votes, and Charlie with only one vote. So this means that the highest number of votes any candidate received is two, and we need to print out all the names of candidates that got two votes. So in this case, it's Alice and Bob. So both their names are actually printed as the winner. So now we need to put this into code. So the steps will be after we count the vote totals for each candidate, which is what we did in the previous step, we will need to find out what is the highest number of votes received and set that as the maximum count. Then we will print the names of candidates whose vote count matches the maximum count. So let's put this in C. So now what we want to do is that we want to print the winner or winners of the election. So to start, we need to declare that there will be an integer and we'll call it as maximum votes equals to zero. So this will represent the highest number of votes that any candidate received in that particular election. Okay. So now what we need to do is that we need to determine the highest number of votes, right? So we need to determine what is the maximum vote value. So again, we will look through each of the votes received. Okay, and we're going to say that if that particular candidate's votes is greater than what is the current maximum vote, we will update the maximum vote value to be that of this particular candidate's votes. Okay, so for example, right, if the first candidate at least received one vote, then the maximum vote for now equals to one. If the next candidate, Bob, receives three votes, since three is higher than the current maximum vote of one, the new maximum vote number is three. So this is how you identify what is the highest number of votes that anyone received in this election. So now that we have the highest maximum vote, we actually need to just print out the winners. So this would be the candidates whose number of votes equals to that of the maximum vote. Okay, so again, we'll just look through the votes received. So in this case, right, if the candidate's number of votes equals to that of what is the maximum vote, we will actually just need to print their names. Okay, so now let's give this a try. Let's compile this. Okay, so it compiles. So now what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to execute dot slash plurality without any um, candidates' names. So as you can see, the system rejected it because we need to key in the candidates' names. So let's try Alice, Bob, and Charlie. Let's say that there were five candidates. And let's say we vote for Alice, Bob, Charlie. Oops, let me write that. Charlie. At least, and let's say my last vote would be for Bob. So in this case, what we should be able to see is that Alice and Bob are both declared as winners because they each got a maximum vote of 2. Right, and there you go. You can see that Alice and Bob are printed as the winners. And there you go. So this is a solution for problem set 3, plurality. So if you found this video to be helpful, please do like and subscribe and also drop a comment. This will be most helpful for other people who are looking for the solution to this problem set. Thank you and see you in the next video.